Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today on What's Cooking Wednesday, I'm sharing two of my favorites. First up, I'm making taco stuffed peppers, followed by some easy Spanish rice. Both of these dishes are super delicious and easy to make, so stay tuned and I will show you how to make them. So these stuffed peppers are definitely not your traditional recipe. Normally you would use Italian seasoning, but instead today I'm giving it a taco twist. I'm gonna be using things like black beans and salsa and corn and they're super yummy. Now for my kids, I'm actually making a slight alteration because my kids like the filling, but they don't really like the peppers themselves. So I'm gonna make a little bit of extra filling for them to have plain. And my husband and I will actually have them in the peppers. So let's get started. For the stuffed peppers, here's what you're going to need. About one and a half pounds of ground turkey, a quarter cup plus two tablespoons of taco seasoning, three bell peppers, I like the yellow, the red, and the orange. You need one can of black beans drained, one cup of corn, you could use frozen or canned, just make sure you drain it first. You also need one cup of cooked rice. Now you could use white rice or brown rice, leftover rice, totally up to you. But today I'm using cauliflower rice in mine. I'm also using a quarter cup of mild salsa. But if you like your spicy, go ahead and use the spicy stuff. And then there's the cheese. I'm gonna use two cups of shredded cheddar because that's what I have on hand. But you could use Mexican blend or any cheese that you prefer. And of course we have some toppings as well. I like olives, cilantro, sour cream, and even guacamole. I'm going to start by preheating my oven to 350 degrees. Next, I'm going to drizzle just a little bit of olive oil into my large pan over medium heat. And then I'm gonna brown up my turkey. Once the turkey is no longer pink, I'm going to go ahead and add my taco seasoning and give it a good stir. To this, I'm going to add my beans, my corn, my salsa, and my cooked rice. I'm going to stir this until combined and then turn the heat off. Now at this point, once it's cooled down, it's a good idea to taste it for seasoning, just to see if you want any more salt or pepper or even hot sauce if you're into that sort of thing. But since I want my kids to eat this, I'm going to leave it as is. Now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and set this meat aside and get started on my rice. That way everything should be done around the same time. Now for my rice, I'm going to use two cups of long grain white rice about a quarter cup of olive oil, eight ounces of tomato sauce, one teaspoon of salt, two large cloves of fresh garlic. Now if you'd like, you could also use one teaspoon of powdered garlic if that's what you have. But I really like the fresh garlic in this, it's my favorite. You're also going to need one teaspoon of ground cumin. And finally, you also need four cups of chicken stock. I'm going to start with a large pot. You're gonna want one with a lid. Now to this, I'm going to add my oil to the bottom and let that heat up for just a few seconds. Then I'm going to add all of my rice and I'm going to stir the rice in the oil so that all of the rice is coated. Now browning the rice will take a couple extra minutes, but I think this step is totally worth it. So what I like to do is pull out my phone and watch some of my favorite YouTubers while I wait for the rice to be ready. Now once the rice is golden brown, you can go ahead and add your chicken broth, your tomato sauce, and your garlic, your cumin, and your salt and pepper. Now I'm just going to give this a big stir and place my lid on top. I'm going to cook this on medium for about 30 to 40 minutes, but you definitely want to come back and stir it every once in a while just to make sure the rice isn't sticking. And for me, my rice always wants to stick in the last 10 minutes, so make sure you keep stirring the bottom to make sure it doesn't stick. Now while the rice is cooking away, it's time for me to go back to my peppers and stuff them, which I'm gonna go ahead and cut down the center first. Notice I'm not cutting the top off and stuffing them that way. I'm taking each pepper and cutting them right down the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the seeds and then stuff it with our delicious filling. I'm gonna stuff as much as I can in each one. Then I'm gonna go ahead and top them with cheese and get them in the oven for about 30 minutes or until they're tender. And here they are. These smell so good. 
Of course, you can go ahead and add your toppings. I hope you guys love these. And there you have it. Now, if you like this video today, please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're not already. Now, if you'd like to see last week's video where I made some delicious egg muffin cups, you can do that by clicking on the link up here. And if you'd like to see yesterday's video, you can click on the link down there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.